Here we are this morning at the uh, 2018 boat show, Sydney boat show. Coming through Sydney with the trucks and the boats, uh, she was a bit hairy. Um, and there's uh, a certain old fella that was uh, towing a boat who I, uh, I won't mention his name, um, but he uh, might have cut the corner a little bit uh, cheeky and uh, nearly wiped out a, a young lady. Everybody played up a bit last night. Wasn't so good. We're having an absolute ball, a um, couple of drinks every night. We had many not turn up, some uh, not too flash. The boss is over there apparently on the couch being in charge half asleep as normal. And it's left to the rest of us grunts to do the great job that Edencraft like to have done for their show. The Edencraft team has brought six boats up the Hume Highway. The crowd's response has been amazing so far. Along with our legendary boats, we've got another reason to celebrate. <laughs> Josie's birthday. A big night is planned. Let's hope the team is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in the morning. Edencraft stand at the moment and going through all the boats I'm currently standing in the brand new uh, 233 Platinum. It's a beautiful machine. Um, the crowds have been good so far for the first two days. Today we're expecting crowds to be even much greater. We're hoping to sell some more boats today and uh, let people have a good look at the Edencraft range. Just here with the 233 Classic Formula. We've come to have a look at Ali's boat. It's an absolute work of art. As you can see, we've got the plow anchor on the front, nine kilo. It runs a Lone Star GX4 winch. Pull, I better not say that. <laughs> uh, Ali's is a, a work of art. It's a hamburger with the lot. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, he's got every bell and whistle you can have on it. As you can see up the top, We've got the hard top. He's got nice big windows in it now, so you can see it clearly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the legend just being an idiot like usual. <laughs> On top of the windows there, we've got the, the wipers. So any spray that comes up, give him nice clear vision while he's driving out through the night all day. It's beautiful. Up the top, he's got, got two spotlights. Uh, they're on joystick control inside the cabin. Uh, he can move them around, see everything that he needs to see. Great vision. Um, got the floor camera up top for the night vision. So uh, you can turn the uh, old spotlights off and see what you want to see anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, right behind that, he's got the beautiful Simrad radar. Check it out. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. It's on the front of the deck here. You can see we've got our aerials. Uh, Simrad and our Suzuki aerials. Nicely placed in front of a, a Luma hatch. Got a nice big dive door on the other side, about 700 mil wide, so you got plenty of room to get in and out. Nice and easy for loading your stuff at the dock, uh, or whether you're out diving or spearing, uh, pulling big fish in. It's, uh, it's a magical bit of gear as well. As you can see, we're going to the cabin. Ali's got a fully plumbed up toilet, uh, which is lovely for taking the kids and the wife or girlfriend out. They got comfort, they got style. It's in a fully lockable cabin, so there's no pressure um, when you're out at sea and you haven't got anywhere to run off to. <laughs> um, on the floor you can see 
It's fully lined with three inch bunk cushions. Inside you can see either side on the port and starboard, we've got very large side cabin pockets. Heaps of storage is a must if you're going on big trips. Uh, we try and provide uh, as much room in storage as we can in a 23 foot boat. We've got plenty of storage room up in our battery shelves. We've got your batteries, we'll put pumps, accessories, switches, anything we can in there, they're fully sealed uh, to save you getting water in there, corrosion running through all your wiring, anything like that. So they're built to last, they're built to keep at Mickey Mouse for all the next 20 years. Down the bottom in our second storage compartment, Arlie's used it really well. He's designed to do this, put in twin tackle boxes either side. We have our bait tank, we've, got a, we've added a nice big window so you can see your fish, you can see what they're doing in there, make sure they're not dying, uh, you've got plenty of water flow circulating through there to keep them on the go for a long time while you're out at sea fishing. Uh, you've got a, it's a 100 litre tank in these ones. On top, we've got a nice bait board, rigging station, everything's on top, all in one spot. Ali's got some nice snapper racks on here as well. So at the, at the moment we've only had the back ones in, but they actually continue all the way along the side to the front cabin. Uh, so you can uh, get 22 rods out, see if you can't get a tangle up in that one. <laughs> Here we've also added in a custom leaning post for Ali. This is a design by Edencraft. It works really well. You can strap yourself in while you're fighting a bigger fish. We've got plenty of, we've got four rod holders in this one and two drink holders. So here, here in our custom seat boxes that we made for Ali, as you can see, we've got it divided down in the centre of this one. It's our storage in the front. The back of it is built in Esky. You can see we have the beautiful Lenko trim tabs. Uh, they're custom made plates by us at Edencraft in house. Here you can also see that we have a bit of a difference in the bums of our boats. So this here we run a pod, it's rated to 600 horsepower. It's built in house, it's bolted onto the back of the transom. Uh, a lot of guys like this, it gives you a bit more fishing room inside. Uh, so the hardcore fishermen, they love that, get some motors up out of the way, gives you a bit of room at the back um, and everyone loves a bit more fishing room, don't they? At the Sydney Boat Show, the Sydney Boat Show is held at the International Convention Centre down at Darling Harbour. It runs for five days on two levels and the marina, so we're on the upper level here today. It's actually its 51st year. We, <laughs> we came last year for the first time. Well, we came with one boat, we came with Lynchy's six metre and it was insane, so all the feedback was ridiculously positive. Um, people hadn't really ever heard of us. Uh, a lot of people, some people knew who we were, a lot of people had no idea and they were asking like what is this boat, where did it come from? And then um, so that's why this year we thought we'd um, go big and show everyone that we're, we're a pretty big contender in the boating industry and yeah so here we are. and I had a quiet one, I was in bed by 9 o'clock. Had, had a holy communion, just a tiny sip of wine. Might have got out of hand a little. It looks like it's been a big night. Well, hi, how are you going, guys? Here's the legend just signing a couple of autographs for the uh, people around the show. Look, I've got um, the great man himself here, Mr. Maher. I'll just hand one over to him because I know he wants my autograph. He's been asking for it for quite some time now. Six metre range, two different styles of six metre range boats here. This one you can see the old uh, old school windscreen with the wind deflector on the front and this one over here is a little bit different with the wave breaker set up in the smaller windscreen. 
This one's got this beautiful grey decking in it that you can see. It's got some great Eden craft in the floor. Very comfortable on the feet. Bait tank in the middle. Now this is just a single variant of the bait tank. Mr. Ma is being, you know, I won't swear, but he's pushing his luck. As always, he is an annoying shithead. Now at Eden Craft, you can have any particular colour that you want, any configuration. This one's a stunning boat in red, white deck and a black wave breaker at the top. This one's set up with a bimmy top, stainless steel rocket launchers. It's got your work lights on the top. Moving along to the front, we were talking about how good these boats are as far as their build quality. Big spacious dashboard and this one's got the Simrad in it. Beautiful unit and it's got plenty of room for a sim Simrad that size. It has a lot of spacious room in the front. Not only does it have the wind deflector, grab rails, good sound system and plenty of storage. Tried and tested hull. Always, hands down, through the water, through any chop you're going to throw at it, this is the hull of my choice. Sitting on a trans-style trail, a nice big heavy-duty trail, magnificent to tow. I have one of these again myself, and it's a great setup. After the break, more from the Sydney Boat Show. So the trans style has been um, designed from the ground up, um, very well thought out from the very start. From an engineering perspective, absolutely. Uh, we're boaties at heart, and uh, the result of the trans style is from our passion for boating and, and fishing. Some of the features of the trans style trailer, um, firstly, we run rubber torsion axles, so no leaf springs. Torsion suspension gives a much lower uh, centre of gravity, a much smoother ride, so it's great for towing long distances, um, great for loading and unloading the boat. So we run much bigger braking components, really top quality bearings, uh, we have the option of an oil bath system, which is uh, great for low maintenance. We run stainless steel components, which for boating is absolutely a bonus. You won't have any rust issues. All of our brake lines are braided stainless steel, including stainless steel connector units. Other features that can be seen from the outside. <laughs> Just walked up. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All of the trans style trailers are custom built to the customer's boat, anywhere from length and height and special requirements that our customers need. We've been really lucky to be able to meet some great, well-known fishermen um, and personalities over the years. Uh, a highlight for me absolutely was building a trailer and designing one for Rex Hunt. Um, he's now retired and uh, I remember him coming up to a boat show and looking at our product and he said, I'm going to come back and see you. And the next day he was in our office uh, and the great thing that dealing with him was that he said to me that over the years, you know, he's been asked to promote products and been paid to promote products. But now that he's retired, he gets to buy exactly what he wants and uh, it was an absolute pleasure. One of my favourites. So dealing with Eden Craft has been an amazing journey. Um, Kerry and uh, Josie, I call them the glam couple of the boating industry. <laughs> Sorry, Grant. <laughs> but no, they've been absolutely wonderful. And you know, get on board, ride the legend. The Eden Craft is just a legendary hull and the company behind it, it's wonderful. Now I'm gonna just sign a couple more of these because this is the platinum. And I need to write to sign the legend because I know that there's been a particular young man who's been just dying for my autograph. Straight to the pool room, mate. Straight to the pool room. Did you hear that? Straight to the goddamn pool room. You're a genius, my boy. Thank you. Storm and Norman, do you want one too? Uh, no, thanks, mate. That's okay, I'll do one for you right now. No, that's all right. Can you just... Now, who's that? Can you make that, that out too, Chris? No. Here I am standing next to the brand new Platinum. This is a 233 Platinum from Eden Craft. Brand new top, and not only that, a brand new soft top on this particular issue of the craft. It's a magnificent machine. It is one of the best specced up boats I've seen at the show so far from Eden Craft. Sitting again also, I might add, on a beautiful trans-style trailer built specifically for this craft. The synonymous Eden Craft 233 Platinum speaks for itself. It's been around for a hundred years and it's never changed. The hull itself is tried and tested in amongst 
all sorts of conditions. You'll notice on this craft that the front is totally different to the other one, which is our brand new hardtop. It's been completely remanufactured specially for this particular hull. Now, because we're in the back, you can look, we've got no legs. That's how deep this boat is. It's extremely deep inside and safe. Tried and tested brand new top and bottom on this thing. Just running a single screen at the moment, but there's plenty of space up here for whatever you want to do. Inside, look, have a look at this. Look. I'm disappearing inside this boat. I'm nearly standing up. That's how important it is to get and fit everything you want, such as beds, toilets, or whatever you want to put inside this one. It's got all the different space you can possibly think of. This one, in fact, is even carrying one of our brand new fridges. I might just have a little bit of a look inside and see if someone has left a frothy in there for me, and there's none. That's probably typical of Grant for leaving nothing inside for me. It's a huge bait holding machine here that we've just installed a couple of little duckies in. Quack, 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 what do you reckon about that? On this side of the boat we've made some areas for a recessed e-burb section. Very, very handy to have your e-burb. Nice and handy, but also not in the way so it's going to catch on most things. So, so the recessed one is the way to go. Over here, same sort of deal, all right? There's a couple of hatches here, and they'll take your fire extinguishers. It's always better to run a few fire extinguishers on a, on a boat this size. There's another large hatch that we've put into this side of this boat. And this is another new feature that's been incorporated in all the Eden Calf range. So inside here carries not only your, your fuel um, valves that come up from the petrol tank, and the fuel filler coming down from the outside. But when this boat is completed, it will house the fuel filters and shut off valves out of the way, covered by a nice looking door. It's a quality of build that Eden Craft can do for the customers. All this has been re-engineered and customized just for this boat. Solid, thicker, heavier stainless steel work that fits in magnificently with this machine. You can see here now that if you're out in a great day and you don't want to take your, all your clears off and have that fresh air running through, this is the boat for you. The biggest thing about Deck Armour is that it changes your boating experience. Um, being that it's soft underfoot, you know, you're out in the hot sun, you're drinking a beer, you're holding a fishing rod, and uh, you're concentrating on the really important stuff, like having a great time. Traditionally, people, when they have um, boats, they uh, have uh, non-slip products or carpet, um, and they've had problems with bait and smelling and carrying on. Uh, with this product, you just wash it off with water and uh, you just enjoy your boating. Here at the Sydney Boat Show, uh, we're displaying with the Eating Craft brand, uh, amazing boats and uh, great branding and just great people to work with and uh, it's been very exciting to see how the evolution of something that is a, a symbolic important boat uh, for, through history is the branding's coming forward into the future. When we were able to talk to Eden Craft about their new release Platinum that was very exciting for us It's being able to do something that has uh, an evolution of their brand so um, when we looked at that boat, we thought about, well, how should this look? How should the brand look? And be able to see the difference from before and after was um, just very exciting. So this one's a little bit more unique. It's got a uh, bit of a different colour scheme. So we've got the black and gold stickers all over it. Um, he's come up with the name Real Bling. Obviously, he's got his little diamantes. We think this boat's pretty awesome. Um, we had an absolute pleasure building it for him. and. Um, Frank's been a, an absolute legend to deal with, so this is a finished product and as you can see it's a masterpiece of the, the Sydney Boat Show and I've, I've been standing in it the whole time and people have just been absolutely loving it. The customer wanted something that was a little bit more um, extreme, so he's gone for the whole package, he's got the floor, 
the gunnels. He's uh, decided to get his dash done, which is something we've not had before, it's something new. Uh, it's a really handy thing to do actually, because if you've got a mobile phone or any other accessories sitting up there, they're not rattling around. With Deck Armour, we're a mobile service, which is really convenient for the client. Uh, they don't have to hitch their boat up and bring it to us. We're able to actually travel to them. We'll come and stencil their boat on site and do all of the design services and everything in-house and then we come back to install on site again. So that is really convenient for the client, saves them a lot of time. Well there's nothing like being in the hot sun, bare feet, and being able to just walk and have this cushiony effect. Uh, it's an ergonomic effect. It's an environmental change. Um, and being in that boat, you've got um, high winds, you've got big waves crushing over, and being confident to be able to stand there and just not feel like you're gonna slip over, um, I think that's I think that's an amazing thing. Coming up next, we'll finish off at the Sydney Boat Show to see what looks to have been another successful year with more people joining the Edencraft family. We manufacture anchoring systems primarily for trailer boats, but we do go up for uh, larger boats up to 80 feet. Um, we have uh, two series of winches. We do the GX series, which is our workhorse. It's a market leading product. And in addition to that, we do a series called the Elite Series, which is the world's first and only brushless drum anchor winch. What sets our company apart really is probably just the amount of work uh, we put into making sure that these products uh, work and work for a very long time and guarantee consumer happiness. There's been a few stories um, that show the quality of our products. You know, we had, we get, we get an odd uh, photo or video from, um, you know, charter operators or, pe or, you know, people in the water saying, look at what I pulled up. And uh, you'd be surprised, like chunks of boats and old outboards and, you know, big anchors and like half a tree. They say, we pulled this up on your thousand watt winch. And I said, well, yeah, of course you did, you know? It's, it's not even a surprise, but um, that just sort of goes to show you, you know, if, if you can pull up something like that that was never supposed to come up off the seafloor, um, it's, you know, it's going to pull your 20, 30 pound anchor and chain for 10, 15 years without a problem. Uh, we are the first and still only uh, winch manufacturer to use an IP68 certified motor. I, an IP rating is an ingress protection rating. So they start quite low in the 20s and 30s against uh, large objects like gravel and it goes all the way up into the 50s, which starts to protect more against dust and um, light water spray. Then you get into the 60s, you get a 65, 66, 67. 68 is submergible for more than half an hour, so it's more than a meter deep in water for more than 30 minutes. There was a lot of work that went into it, and it's achieved with no silicon, no paint, anything like that. It's just good engineering. So not only are our motors incredibly strong, uh, very high longevity, um, they're waterproof as well, and that's why we offer a lifetime warranty against water ingress. It's just like putting an outboard on a boat. You can have a 20-foot boat. If you put a 50-horse outboard on the back, you're going to get where you want to go eventually, and that might be fine for some people, but you're a lot better putting 400 ponies on there and getting, fat, getting there faster um, because those motors aren't going to work as hard, and they're going to last longer, and overall, your, your, your happiness with what you have is going to be much higher. We would like to thank everyone for coming past our stand. It's been the best boat show ever. Good group, sort of. Well, I'm not quite sure about that. <laughs> Anybody else going to say something? Speak. Oh, great I one. Can't. Too, can't. Too dry. Too Exhaust. dry. Exhausted from doing what? Josie's birthday. Sell it. Yep. We've already <laughs> done that. Yep. Yes. You happy with the show, guys? Awesome, awesome show. Awesome, awesome show. Great feedback. Good feedback. Great new members joining the Edencraft family. Are you, are you even awake, mate? What are you doing? And once again, thanks so much to everyone that came past, all the feedback, everything. It's just been fantastic. All our staff. All yeah. our staff. Sponsors. Sponsors, everyone that supports us. And, the legend. And all looking forward to all the relationships the with all the new up and coming Edencraft family members. And uh, welcome. And thanks. And that's it for season one of Edencraft TV. 
I'd like to thank everyone who's been a part of it. Ride the legend. Let's go.